Hey guys, a great, great way to add base running into your practice and make it as game-like as possible is we like to use these cones and set up three different cones on an angle. What this is gonna do is it's gonna simulate three different first bases. Instead of just having a line of kids standing here at first base, we'll have three groups of three. And for, for instance, this drill, we're gonna work on our, on our steel break off Coach Duke. So we'll have three lines. I'll be at the front line. I'd have somebody behind me. And then a third guy back there. The reason we put it on an angle is so that the, the base runner can really see the pitcher. Or right, we wanna make sure we get a good eye on the pitcher. And we're just gonna work on our steel break. So again, imagining that I have two runners behind me, we get out to our lead. Coach Duke's going through the stretch position. And we would then work on our steel break out to second base. The guys in, uh, in line on the side would be yelling back. If Duke were to pick off, everybody would yell back. But it keeps a lot of kids engaged at once. Um, we're gonna move on to second base and we're gonna do a different version of base running from second base. All right, so now we're out at second base. This is the second step to our, our base running circuit here. So Coach Duke's again our pitcher. We have three staggered lines out here at second base. And from second base today, we're gonna work on dirt ball reads. What a dirt ball read is, is me as a base runner, I'm watching the pitcher go through his delivery. When he, when he breaks to go to home plate, I'm gonna take my secondary lead. So I'm gonna take two aggressive shuffles, and then I'm gonna read the flight of the ball. So if that ball looks like it's traveling downhill, it might be a breaking ball, it might just be a, a low fastball. But if it looks as if it's gonna bounce in front of home plate, a dirt ball read for me is I wanna break to the next base. Because especially at the younger ages, the chances of the catcher actually picking the ball and then throwing us out is very small. So, so I'm gonna get out here to the second cone. Coach Duke's gonna go through the stretch position. As soon as he breaks, I'm gonna do my secondary lead. Shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle, spike it. And I break the third base. So again, you have three, three lines here. Probably three players here. You have three players at first base working on their, on their straight steel but it's a great way to keep a lot of kids moving. And it's ideal because we're all working off one pitcher. We'll do one more here. So secondary lead, I want my feet to be hitting the ground as the ball's crossing home plate. Get out to my primary, shuffle, shuffle, and then I break the third base. You can even add, add in a third station at third base where runners are actually working on tagging up, but definitely get yourself some cones, create as many stations as possible so you keep, keep a lot of kids moving. We've got nine kids here moving with one pitcher on the mound, gets the kids a lot of reps in a really short amount of time.